Hey there, it's Aaron. Today I wanted to create an RPG style video game character and I am going to let ChatGPT use its imagination to do all of the heavy lifting. So my idea is to ask ChatGPT for five names for unmade video games, fictional titles, and then once it has provided those we'll ask it to pick one of them and describe the lead slash main character in the game for us. So let's go ahead and hit it with this prompt. Make up five names for unmade video games. List only the titles. And it should come back with those in short order. So I'll read them quickly. Eternal Vanguard, Rise of the Empyreans, Chronospheres, Legends of the Timekeepers, Shadow Strike Chronicles, Blades of Destiny, Starbound Odyssey, Beyond the Celestial Veil, or Mystic Isles. Realm of the Enchanted Guardians. All sound like great games that I would love to play. So I will say, pick one. <laughs> and so it's taking Shadow Strike Chronicles Blade of Destiny. Describe the main character visually. So we should come back with just a physical description. The main character of Shadow Strike Chronicles, Blades of Destiny, is a striking figure exuding an aura of mystery and power. Clad in sleek, dark armor, they possess an agile and formidable presence. So it goes on from there in several hundred words. So I'm going to ask it to condense to 50 words only their physical description. And we'll see if that will provide a, a prompt that is an appropriate length to use in Leonardo.ai. If I were to try to copy and paste all of that text, it might allow it down to maybe here, halfway through this paragraph, so we wouldn't get enough of a prompt to work with. So ChatGPT is working very slowly at the moment, but that's okay. The main character of Shadow Strike Chronicles, Blades of Destiny, is an agile figure dressed in sleek, dark armor. With a lean and athletic build, they wear a black armor adorned with ornamental engravings. Their face is hidden behind a featureless helmet, revealing only their determined, piercing eyes. That sounds pretty awesome. A lot of detail there to work with. So I've gone ahead and copied that, and we'll paste it here into the Leonardo AI image generation. Here you have dog in a sweater, one of my favorite prompts of all time. So I'm going to go ahead and we will paste in that paragraph and I will ask it to render that in RPG4 because RPG4 is role playing game style. So it should give us sort of that at least comic graphic novel or video game texture style. So we'll hit it with one of those so we'll get four images come back and I'm also going to run it in Leonardo Alchemy beta and we'll hit it with the general and I'm also going to hit it with the dynamic and we should have something coming back here so here we go Shadow Strike Chronicles Blades of Destiny here is our lead character so dark armor and we do see the piercing eyes coming through very nice image that is also very cool. Not so much with the eyes piercing through, but what an awesome shot. And I love the textures and the lighting on that. So definitely have that RPG feel. Let's check out this alchemy version. Wow, a lot of depth. All these different layers with the drop shadows adding so much depth, the textures on the metal, really incredible. Also really cool get some sort of fabric leather action. Look at the detail there. That is incredible. Another cool one. Not quite as stunning as the others in terms of the textures and the composition. And that is pretty cool too if you like that sort of robotic eye coming through. So I would say out of these so far, this might be my favorite. But let's see what it's come up with here in the dynamic. Wow, that is really awesome. So it's added some additional color here with the blue in the armor. Even more blue happening here with that red eye. That is really awesome. That is also a cool shot. 
in this one, but I think that I'm going to have to say that we should take this image right here and let's open it up in Photoshop and see if we can make this character even more of a character. I'll just zoom out a little bit and hit C to bring up my crop tool so that I can expand the height so that we can get his full helmet in play here and I'm also going to expand it out so we can at least get that shoulder in and then I'll generative fill this section here that blank canvas that I've just created and then depending on what the outcome is here just invert that selection so now it's this area that's going to be filled depending on what our outcome is here I might also increase the height of the canvas and see if we can get even more of a at least a body happening don't necessarily need head to toe that's sometimes asks too much of the AI anyway I often end up with just sort of like a weird tapering at the bottom so let's zoom in here and get the bar out of the way and there's variation number one number two or number three so numbers number one it still is cut off at the top I don't really like that feather hair action up there here that's not so bad and I think that this one is really nice and clean looking. Let's compare again. Number two. I kind of like how that finishes off. That would be a matter of choice. In the end, I'm actually going to take number two because I like how the helmet is finished off there. So that is looking pretty cool. Let's do as I suggested and bring the canvas down to about here. And we'll accept that. And then I'll use my marquee selection tool and I'm going to go right up to, let's just see where I'm selecting to. I think that I should select sort of in the middle of this piece here, come across that like so, because I want to consider what the AI is going to have for information to work with, we'll say, as far as the pixels it's going to use to predict from. So with that selection being made to fill, Let's give it a shot. We'll hit generate and see what happens. Let's just zoom in on the detail. So when it did carry the image over, the detail on the textures is identical to the original. So excellent job, AI generative fill. And let's see if it did as an astounding job here. That is looking pretty cool, I would say. Finishes it off almost like is an armor tunic that is very bold. I'm not sure really what's happening down here. It seems almost like the leg continues into something environmental there. And that is really quite powerful. That looks like our figure. So let's go back to our description here and see whether or not the figure matches the description. So the main character of Shadow Strike Chronicles Blades of Destiny is an agile figure dressed in sleek dark armor with a lean and athletic build. They wear a black armor adorned with ornamental engravings. Their face is hidden behind a featureless helmet revealing only their determined piercing eyes. I would say that perhaps what we didn't achieve here was more of an emphasis on the sleek agile body, but just with the form of the body, it doesn't it isn't really like a heavy plate armor that goes all the way down so I think there could still be some agility there for our character so there you go folks I think that we ended up with something that is really cool and if you enjoyed this video then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them and I will see you the next time